Are we going down? That's the question on every Valencia fan's mind right now. And it's been a tough season, to say the least, right? I think we've been a bit unfortunate this year. Um, if you pull up the standings, we're currently sitting in 18th place, which is obviously in the relegation zone, right? But that's it's been unjust as as poorly as Valencia has has played. I don't think the results reflect. I don't think the I don't think the standings reflect our performances, right? So we've only given up 36 goals and only 10 goals in the first half. A number that's only bettered by Real Madrid and Barcelona. And as far as the 36 goals conceded for the entire season, that's pretty damn good. I mean, that's up there. That's better than Sevilla, who's sitting in, or Sevilla, who's sitting in 13th. It's better than Valladolid, who's sitting in 14th. We've given up 12 less goals than Valladolid, and they're, and they're significantly higher than us on the table. Why does that happen, right? It comes down to our inability, inability to close out games and to score goals. There have been so many games this year where we've had a one nothing lead, or we've been, or we've been tying, or we've been tied close to the end of the game, and we just give up that late goal, and we lose three point, we lose two points, or we lose one point, and that's been the reason. That's been the reason why we're sitting in the position that we're sitting in. Obviously, the goals they're not coming. They're not coming along. We can't score. If you can't score, you can't win, right? That's that's the name of the game. Edison Cavani. Absolute icon of the game, absolute legend, but he hasn't, he just hasn't pulled through for us. He hasn't scored the goals we needed to. He's had some moments where he's been brilliant. He's had a lot of half chances where he's come very close to scoring, but he just hasn't put the ball in the net. Um, Last week we saw Carlos Soler at the game, and he was a player we really could have used this season. One of the real positions of weakness for us has been the midfield, right? Yunus Musa, I am not a fan of. Um, Yunus Musa is a massive, massive figure for for U.S. men's national team fans, and he gets a lot of publicity and fame. You know, a lot of people talk about how if Valencia gets relegated, Musa's going to be off to some Premier League team or some other team. But I don't see it. I mean, the guy he's not he's not contributing anything. He doesn't get goals. He doesn't get assists. All he does is run around and provide athleticism, which you can get that from a number of different sources. You know, you don't need. You don't need a player like him. He's nothing. He's nothing special, in my opinion. We can we can replace him if we can sell him for twenty five million and replace him for with an academy player. That's that'd be fine with me. I know we have Coandrati out on loan. Maybe bring him back. See if there's anything there. But definitely been a disappointing season from from Musa in the attack. Defense has been solid. I actually made a joke in one of our uh, WhatsApp chats just about how Diakabi's been our best player, which is. Which is for anybody who's watched Valencia for a while will know that's 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 almost an indictment on the club if if Diakabi's being our best player. But do I think we're gonna get relegated? Looking at the table here, we're three points back of Almeria. If we can Almeria, if we can if we can tie them somehow, we'll, we're gonna be ahead on goal differential as it stands. I mean, their their goal differential is negative fifteen. We're negative six. I don't see a problem there. Cadiz, they're negative 19. Valladolid's negative 23. Um, even even a club like Sevilla is negative 9. So we have the goal differential advantage over a lot of these clubs. The problem is, can we get level on points? I'm not sure. Man, we've had a bad run of form. We've got four points in the last five games. We have really haven't had any kind of run of form. We're not scoring goals. We're not even looking like we're going to get anywhere close to winning these games. That Sevilla game was was atrocious um the crossing was the crossing was really the thing that stood out for me these crosses were horrendous you know i'm a big fan of the mls as well as valencia and i watch a lot of our games in the mls and the crossing isn't far off from what valencia was doing like it's it's sad to see and it's 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 almost comical at that that point that's why you that's why you see me laughing ah so moving forward on the uh, on the stretch that we have, we have Elche away. Elche has been the worst team I've seen in La Liga in a long time. If we don't pick up three points against Elche, we're in some massive trouble. I'm not confident we're picking it up. You know, I, I'd love to say we're going to get three points to Elche, but the way Valencia is playing, we can't score. So if you can't score, I mean, maybe we get a one nothing win, maybe, but... I could easily see this game being 1-1 or 0-0, or even Elche beating us. At that, at this point, that's tough. 
Then we have Valladolid. These are two games that we need to get points, right? So we have these two games. We got to get at least one win out of there. We got to have four points out of those two games. Then we have Cadiz on the road. Another must-win game, or at least a draw. Those those three games, these three games are going to decide the season, in my opinion, right? So if we can get four or five points, that's going to put us in at least some better position. If we can get three, we're in major trouble, and I think if we can get six or seven, I think we're on our way to to avoiding relegation. From there, we have Villarreal. Going to be a tough game. I hate to say it, but Villarreal, they're better than us right now. They've been better for us, better run than us for a while, and it's it's crazy to see considering the size of our club versus Villarreal, but it is what it is. We have Celta um, on the 14th, and then Real Madrid on the 21st. We're going to be lucky to get anything out of out of Madrid, even though it is at the Mestalla. Mallorca, 24th, and then to close out the game, close out the season, we have Espanyol at home, and then Betis away. I think that if we need if we need a result going into Betis on the opening day, we're going to be in trouble. Betis is more consistent than us; they're better than us, and we're probably going to lose there. So we need to make sure we're secure, or at the very least, need to draw in the last game day. But do I think we're getting relegated? Who knows? You know, it's a it's a 50-50. I really feel that way. It could easily be Valencia. Or it could easily not be. You know, I think that Valencia, based off the season, doesn't deserve doesn't deserve to be relegated. I think that we've been competitive across many of these games. We just haven't picked up the results, which would be it would be unfortunate for the league um, to have, to lose a club like Valencia. I mean, you see Cadiz. Cadiz, like I said, Cadiz has given up. Cadiz has scored twenty three goals and given up forty two. We've scored 30 and given up 36, and we're behind them in the table. That math doesn't add up. Same thing with Almeria. They've scored five more than us, but they've given up 14 more than us. It doesn't make sense that they're they're higher than us in the table. They've just been fortunate with their results. And that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you need that little bit of luck. I, I certainly don't think Valencia is, is worthy of being relegated, but if you don't get the results, the end of the day, it can't happen. And what I would say is, even if we're not relegated this year, if things don't improve, it might not be next year or the year after, but if things don't improve, we will be relegated. Um, you know, we have, we get 40,000 fans a game, and we should never be relegated, a, a club our size. But if you don't invest, you will be relegated eventually. Um, obviously, we have, you know, nine games left to play. I'm hoping for the best, guys. Wish I could say we're not getting relegated for sure, but... There's always that possibility, and it looks like we're going to be in a real battle for our lives. So, Amunt Valencia, signing off, guys. I promise to be back with some more videos uh, more frequently than my, my last one-year break, but wanted to come back and provide some support over the remainder of the season.